Formed in 1970 in Topeka, Kansas, this group has several multi-platinum albums, including Left Overture and Point of No Return, selling over 3 million copies. They've appeared in nearly every major newspaper, magazine, radio, and on television programs across the globe. Kansas returns with their most anticipated effort to date, a live album with the London Symphony Orchestra. The group really wanted to record with an American symphony, but couldn't find the right combination. So uh, we thought of the London Symphony Orchestra, which is the most recorded symphony in the world. They've made more albums and more recordings than anybody ever. It was recorded live at Abbey Road Studio, the first permanent studio ever built. The first session took place in 1931 featuring the London Symphony. So here we are, you know, like 60 years later, in that room with the London Symphony Orchestra and they're playing all this Kansas music and stuff. It was, it was really incredible. According to band leader Phil Ehart, Kansas is the first American band to ever record a full symphonic album. Aerosmith, I think, did Dream On with an orchestra, and I, uh, Guns N' Roses did Live and Let Die and things like that, but this is an entire album from beginning to end with a symphonic orchestra. The new Live in London album brings back a familiar face to Kansas fans. I've only been back in the band almost exactly a year now, um, back, back in February of 97, and uh, it's just been great. I've been gone for like 15, 16 years. Um, what a treat it is to be back here again, and I, said, I want everybody to know that well, what I've done has just been, been more motivated than I ever was when I was with Kansas before. The fans are motivating me, I'm motivated, everybody around me is motivated, um, and I'm just, it's great to be alive. We started out as just a bar band in Kansas. And uh, when we played the bars, you had to play popular songs, you know, and stuff, and then throw in a few originals. You know, that's the way you, you, you did. It was Phil's idea to do Eleanor Rigby, being that it has a lot of violin work in it, and it kind of lends itself to, it. it's kind of obvious really, uh, to do with a uh, symphony type of experience, uh, and, you know, with Robbie Steinhardt in the band playing violin. I guess I could uh, take a little bit of credit for, uh, for being responsible for more rock and roll people hearing the violin. Um, there weren't all that many violinists in rock and roll when I started playing myself. There were guys like David Laflamme who was in It's a Beautiful Day, but there weren't very many violinists in the field, so it was uh, um, partially my responsibility, I guess, that uh, a lot more people have heard the violin, especially with songs like Dust in the Wind, um, tunes like that that have got a lot of uh, radio play. I think we found out about five or six years ago when we started playing again that we had a real large, loyal uh, fan base that we really didn't know who was still around. And that made it, and we felt a loyalty to them, too. But uh, we just, we were in the, their consciousness and without us even really realizing it, we thought we were done. But I think more than anything, it's probably tenacity. We just have refused to, it was always, always felt like there was something more we needed to do. We just, I've never felt the feeling that, okay, I'm done with this career, let's move on to something else. It's about the band that refused to die. <laughs> this album, released on River North Records, contains some classic Kansas tunes with three new selections from Song for America through the Point of No Return album and includes a cover tune and an overture to complete this 12-cut selection. Well, this album has been pretty much a, a dream for the last couple of years. It really has been. It's uh, taken us about two years to sit and talk about this as an idea and have it, you know, turn into a reality. So it's, it's been difficult to sit in hotel rooms and go, gee, wouldn't it be great if Kansas could play with an orchestra, you know, have an orchestra play Kansas music. Kansas, the legendary progressive rock group formed in 1970, will release a historic album recorded live with the London Symphony Orchestra in May, featuring classic songs and new songs with an overture including Kansas's full repertoire of classics. Look for this new album from Kansas, the first American band to record an album with an orchestra, released on River North Records, distributed by Polygram Group Distribution.